back to my channel. It's Jotna here. So you guys know that the internet is filled with life hacks, like a lot of them. But sometimes these life hacks are not very helpful. So today I have nine really stupid life hacks that actually work. Now let me just say that I wouldn't take a lot of them seriously, but for some reason I am still tempted to show you guys and to try them out. So today I'm going to show them to you guys so you can decide whether it's brilliant or bogus. Bogus, brilliant, brilliant, bogus. So before we move on with the video, I just wanted to give a big thank you to KB for requesting this video. Thank you so much, KB. If you guys have any video requests, leave them in the comments below because I always check those out. And also, if you guys really enjoy watching this video, I would appreciate if you leave a thumbs up for your girl because it really helps out. Um, and also, you guys, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that because if you follow my Instagram and you comment on my latest photo, I will spam your account. Just make sure that your profile is not on private and I will I do that I'll do that so let's move on with the video guys here we go here are some stupid life hacks that actually work let's go Okay, so first stupid life hack is instead of buying those expensive branded blackhead masks and no strips, you can remove your blackheads with school glue. Yes, school glue. I honestly thought that this hack was made up, so I had to try it out. So you just spread it on your nose, wait till it dries completely, and then start peeling the glue off. I was really surprised here because it actually clinged onto my skin really well. A little too well actually, like to the point that it hurt. A lot to peel off so it took me a good minute and I was clearly shocked because it did remove some of my blackheads you can't really see it here too well but there's some white specks on there and I did not expect that so stupid but it actually works next stupid life hack is if you don't have a setting spray you could use hairspray to set your makeup to make it last longer yes I know hairspray on your face I know it sounds crazy considering that hairspray is not the most ideal thing to put on your face for obvious reasons but this hack is said to help keep your makeup in place for a long time and even make it waterproof now even though it might work and yes I tried it out and my makeup lasted a really long time it's like still like the worst thing to put on your face like my face instantly started singing and it wasn't a good feeling at all so yeah just don't just keep it just don't do it <laughs> Next dumb life hack is to magically turn a regular cup into a travel cup for kids to prevent spills and leaks using saran wrap. So you wrap some saran wrap over the top and this is supposed to block the liquid from dripping out. Poke a thin straw in the middle and I had to put some tape on the side because the saran wrap kept coming off which defeats the purpose of this hack. But yeah, this is supposed to not cause leaks and all that messy kid stuff. So I put it to the test. It surprisingly worked you guys, but I'm pretty sure that after a few falls it start leaking this might be a little bougie and all you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but it works to catch those first few accidents next dumb life hack is a food hack how to magically and easily cut even cake slices using dental floss because knives are just so overrated you know so it's said that the floss cuts cake in a perfectly straight line and makes the job a lot less messy. But mine was pretty messy because I'm not an expert at, you know, dental floss cake cutting. But it did work. My cake looked like it was murdered though, unfortunately. Just imagine you're at a kid's party and about to cut the cake in front of everyone and you're slicing it with dental floss. I don't know, I just can't take that picture out of my mind. So yeah, I probably won't be using this one anytime soon. Next hack is a way to easily cut your vegetables in half the amount of time using an afro metal comb, which I know sounds ridiculous and it looks kind of ratchet, I'm not going to lie, but this actually works so good. Out of all the hacks in this video, I actually recommend this one. So what you do is put the metal comb through the vegetable of your choice and this will sort of align your knife so that you get those perfect cut veggie slices you see in the magazines, which is cooking goals AF. So yeah, just slice them. And with no effort at all and extreme clumsiness, you have pretty sliced vegetables. So this next hack is a way to make pretty marble paper using shaving cream. And this kind of requires almost half the bottle of shaving cream, which is not convenient at all. But yeah, you just fill a tray with shaving cream and then add different food coloring. Spread the colors around with a spoon and just wave it and make any design you'd like. 
Then finally press a piece of paper on top of the shaving cream to transfer the design. Then remove it and with a ruler scrape the shaving cream off and you'll have a really pretty marbled paper. And even though it seems so stupid at first, it's actually really cool because you can make marbled paper to draw a pretty design on it. Um, you can use it for room decor or just like pretty paper to write on. Even though I'm out of shaving cream now and had to buy a new one, um, either way it's still really really cool. So next hack is to use homemade slime as a cleaning slime which can be useful to help pick up those tiny crumbs and get further into those hard to reach places like a keyboard or a car vent etc. So lay the slime onto the keyboard and it will gradually sink into those little tiny crevices and pick up the dirt. So once it's sunk down a lot, just pick it right back up and you will see tiny dirt flecks. And by the way, this will obviously work better for other keyboards since the insides of this one is not too exposed. So yeah, even though it seems kind of weird and strange to use as a cleaning product, it's really great to get into those hard to reach places. Okay, so next stupid hack is a way to tie your shoes without shoelaces, but instead using zip ties. Pretty interesting and quite different, I must say. So this hack is supposed to give you an alternative to shoelaces if they were to ever just grow legs and run away, you know? So insert the zip ties in through the holes and then cut off the long parts and you're ready to walk in your shoes and go to the gym and such. They didn't fit on me because you're supposed to do this while you have your shoes on, not off like I did. So yeah, it's quite dumb, but a temporary way to replace shoelaces you probably won't ever catch me using this hack like ever so yeah <laughs> Okay, so last one, I have to say the best one for last and make fun of myself. So this was one of my older videos where I showed a hack on how to curl your hair using a fork. A fork! <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know how and why I came up with that and I think that this is the most craziest hack I've ever thought of. I can honestly go on and on about it, but sadly, this hack actually works. You guys, it crimps it so nicely, maybe even nicer than with an actual curler. It's hilarious, but you're definitely still better off just using a curler. Um, but that's pretty much common sense. So yeah guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video And if you liked it and think I should make more of these stupid life hack videos Make sure to leave a thumbs up and also make sure to leave your video requests in the comments below So that was all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments below If you ever found yourself in a situation where you used a stupid life hack I've probably done so many dumb life hacks. Oh wait, hold on. I'm the one who introduced how to curl your hair with a fork so it's time to give my top three comments shout out from my last video. So shout out to Courtney. Thank you so much, Courtney. Sarah Ahmed, your message was so sweet. Thank you so much. And also shout out to Jacinta Fektu. You're so, so sweet. Thank you so much, you guys. If you guys have any video requests, video suggestions, whatever it is, leave them in the comments below because I will possibly shout you out in my next video. So yeah, you guys, that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, what? You better get in position, boy. Look happy. <laughs>